What's going on guys, Kaggy here. In today's video, I'm gonna go over all three of my Endless Battles teams and go really quick so you can get into it. Let's go. So first we'll talk about the boss and then I'll show you my team. So first we're gonna look at Idar. Idar has two things right here. He's gonna do good damage. Before the change to uh, Endless Battles ago, uh, you would have to actually bring uh, two healers or support units to make sure your units do not die. Uh, they made a change where uh, the damage does still ramp up as you go to later stages, but not as much, so you don't really care too much about what's going on here. Now, Battle Form is the one that you are going to care about. He takes 50% less damage from non-crit damage, and he receives 200% of crit damage. Now, if we take a look right here, uh, you're going to want Gabal, obviously. Uh, I have back plus attack percent, which is a low, it should be 10%, and middle crit chance. Uh, I have the two right here, which as they gain crit chance, gives that crit chance to Rickert. And unfortunately, this is going to be the setup that you're going to want. All four assassins plus the healer at front. If you do not have Caraxia, then you can put in Teresh. Uh, and remember that Teresh will give uh, HP uh, percent to the back row. Uh, still using, as you can see right here, uh, Chaos Chip, uh, whatever your highest middle one. You don't need the cloak, as I said. Healing is not an issue. And then whatever your highest support slot is, uh, I am using uh, Maxed Out Healer. And as you can see, uh, the bonuses I have right here are ultimate, 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 ultimate. Uh, we're not using the Teresh one, but that is my normal assassin team. Uh, go ahead and click play. And the idea is uh, you're going to uh, let her, let Fiona use her ultimate whenever she wants. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use Dom ultimate and then once the uh, the mark is up, hit everyone else's ultimate. Uh, Caraxia's ultimate takes super long to actually cast, so you can actually uh, click hers right before Dom's, like literally one, two, and then by the time her animation finishes, Dom's will already leave the mark. Uh, I have used, uh, what's his name, Rez? On this team and it does do fine uh, but just with how the point system is structured if you have all four of the assassins this is a great lineup and if you do not have Caraxia uh, as I said uh, using Toresh is really good because of how this mechanic in the middle works uh, especially the whole crit situation and then multiplying their damage they take 200% damage from his passive and then uh, Teresh's ground uh, multiplies that damage, which is huge. And you want to uh, use Teresh's ultimate, then Dom, then everybody else. Because Teresh has to do one, two, three, and then the field's on there. But by the time the animations are done, then you'll have it all going. And then the blow-up happens, which will be increased as well. Uh, we skip to the end. And you see uh, my score of 32 million. Uh, my gear kind of sucks, so I'm still working on my gear. Uh, next, we will talk about which one's next. Uh, next is the Summoner one, which we have right here. Uh, does damage to everybody, uh, which does corrosion. It could stack, it doesn't say how many. Uh, damages all enemies, shared equally. So this is why you want uh, summons because it damages everybody. Uh, the more units on the field, the less damage each uh, each individual person takes. Uh, damage from summoned heroes and summoned objects. This is summoner heroes and summon objects has increased significantly. Doesn't say how much. It should be the 200 similar to the other one as well as shares HP with the hive. So if we take a look So I tested two different setups. I tested, uh, what's her face, Dorley, Anpu, uh, 
Dan, Dom, and Jaina. Uh, I also tested instead of uh, Dom using uh, what's her face, Skewer and Hattie. And if we take a look, obviously using the Nucleus, uh, oh, let me move me, using the Nucleus and the Ruler's Ring, only ones that really matter in this fight. Uh, and if we let that play, uh, if you have Sword Valley, she will do fine. But uh, even with maxed units, Sword Valley is not the answer because she's not giving any point bonuses. She's only there to give. Uh, a little bit extra to Anpu, as we see uh, 24.6 with uh, Skewer and Hattie, and with Dom, twenty-one point seven. So uh, Dom is not as good. Uh, you do use Jaina here. Jaina is really, really powerful. You line it up so that you hit all three uh, because of uh, how it works with uh, her ability. Every time she lasers, it will deal more damage as long as you're hitting the three targets. Uh, I tested this with both Nucleus, Flowing Rune, and uh, the other energy one that uh, scales, gives you more attack for hit target. Uh, and... Nucleus uh, did the best for me. Let me know if you have any differences. Uh, kind of goes without saying, but this is a uh, insectoid, so bug gear is what you go after. Uh, Idar is not. Idar is a deity, which we do not have anything for. Last but not least will be Spider King Guard, which is the Vanguard. Still is also an insectoid, so you are going to want bug gear here. Uh, damage inflicted by characters outside the area is greatly reduced, so you want to be inside the area. All characters have reduced energy recovery speed, so you're going to want our two rage units. Who thought? Uh, then when we go here, you will see the team that I uh, ended up using was uh, our three, well, two vanguards, Teresh, Jaina, and uh, what's her face, uh, Fiona. The reason why we're set up like this is Teresh will throw Jaina inside the circle and uh, Jaina will go ham on the people inside the circle. Uh, as well as we're using the double vanguard for the bonus. Uh, you can take out Fiona for Leo and that will give you more points. But the amount that uh, Fiona is giving to the team for their individual numbers is way more than the points that you're getting from Leo. Uh, the, as you'll see down here, using Hagridon, Chaos Chip, uh, the Vanguard Secondary, and then whatever my highest uh, support one is. The main ones that are going to matter are Barog, Ares, Jaina, and Teresh. These are uh, very, very important. Also tried with Dominic because uh, if you have his explosion uh, uh, EX-30, it would do pretty good damage, especially with Insectoid, as well as being inside the circle. But with the energy decrease, uh, it is tough for that to work. Uh, Jaina gives herself a bunch of energy if she hits multiple targets, which makes her viable for this fight. And if we go to the end, Twenty-eight point four. Uh, I tested this uh, a couple more times, and I ended up uh, at th uh, thirty point seven. Ended up being my highest after I finished everything. But uh, that was the quick and dirty of the three different ones. Let me know what you guys think. And if you think I missed anything, till next time, guys.